Well, normally you catch me having a blast with smallmouth bass. Well, we got a little change of life right now. Putting the fishing on the side. Not quitting fishing, but on the side though. Because I've picked up a new side hustle here. I'm flipping a house. I'm flipping a house with my main man, David Groves. He's actually a colleague of mine. We made tree houses together. We made pull bonds together. We made decks hey, Chase, together. Chase, get ready to go down the hill. Went easily, huh? Yeah. We've now found ourselves new owners of a small home, 1,000 square foot home in Walkerton, Indiana. Had it for just a couple days, and he, I'm going to give you the tour of it. going to update this periodically, let you know how the process is going. Let's show up. Damon can tell you what a great guy I am. But here we are. This is Walkerton, Indiana. Big, huge window. Love that window. Unfortunately, it's in junky shape. So we're going to have to replace it. It's a flip. This is a really cute home with a ton of potential, but it does need a lot of TLC. So the uh, front porch, I'll talk a little bit about what you're seeing and what we plan to do. This front porch is, ah, is going to go bye bye We're going to place that with a new modern uh, porch deck. The landscaping here is not what I call the best, and we're not sure what to do with this yet. I'll tell you what, I do. I'm such a nerd. I actually like some rocks. That's a cool rock. I love this one. That's got some nice bird feces on it. So here's a garage, right? <laughs> Not so fast. It's walled in, actually. They made this garage, one car garage, into a man cave. Call it a man cave. We're going to put it back into a garage. Continue to tour over here or outside here. This, this tree, beautiful tree. Love the tree. Uh-huh, beautiful tree. Nice maple. But too close to the house. So we're going to have to trim this sucker up. Get some trim. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of this one. It's honestly, to me, it's just going to get too close to the door. And and the, uh, what do you call those things? Gutters, that's what they call this, right. Too close to the gutters and everything else. So, I don't know what we're going to do exactly with the landscape. Certainly like these rocks. That's kind of nice to look. they got a nice little paint down under there. Previous homeowners, you know, there's no criticism to them. They did a nice job keeping their property up. But we see room for improvement. Got this fence. It doesn't look too bad here. It really doesn't. Oh, here's, here's the uh, peak of the house. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reside this whole house. New siding, gonna get brand new roof. Got all sorts of big plans for it. But the siding or the fencing here. Here's our property line. The reality is, we'll get into some more of the fencing here. This uh, this part doesn't look too bad. It's the best fencing on the property. But I think we're gonna get rid of it. They're gonna get rid of the whole thing because the yard is big and it's gonna be bigger. Let me take you to the backyard. First time I brought up flipping a house to Damon, you should have seen his face. He could not be more excited to take on a project like that. With with he said what he's excited about it's not even the house, it's spending quality time with me. It was one or the other. I can I can't remember exactly what but... I'll tell you right now, I, I am not the brains of this operation. But I am the charm, the good looks, and the humor. So here's our yard. So it's 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 a very nice big backyard it looks bigger now because you see everything we cut down yesterday all these trees that we just were not fans of we got some more i think we'll trim those or get rid of them entirely same with the ones that corner the clothesline is going to go those bigger trees over there we're going to keep and, and we'll trim them the reason we're going to keep them is because they're too big for me to cut down i mean i could cut them down don't get me wrong i could cut and i can take down anything safely no and not to mention this one, these here, we got the power line that they could fall on. We got the fence and the other owner's property and of course our own house. But there's, there's the back side of the house. Another big window, that's where the kitchen is. We'll get inside in a minute. The air conditioning. Damon already explained to me what's going on here. This is why you should not allow your dog to urinate on your AC. Yeah, that's dog urinate there. Dog lifting a leg and uh, depositing here. That's what'll happen. So this home's gonna have a brand new AC unit. Got is what was probably a really cool and pretty pond at one time. You can see the evidence of it. It's a rock and outlining it and everything, but it's it's past its prime. So what we are gonna do with this yard, we're gonna get rid of all this rock, get rid of this brick, clear it out basically, and make it into a nice big yard. Because as of now, this place would be perfect for a family with some kids. It's three bedroom, one bath. Be perfect 
and they have this this is a unique development this pool see it's not the traditional underground pool right but they did dig a hole for it and place it in there not the world's greatest shape so we've already punctured about i don't know 400 pull holes into it let it leak out and we're going to fill it up with fill dirt and again big big yard the vines back here uh where i well, like i said earlier i think we're going to get rid of all of the fencing make a bigger yard because the reality is the property line goes back another 10 feet past that fence so there's an uh, opportunity for even more yard than what you see awesome awesome selling point am i selling it to you yet no no i'll sell it to you when we get closer to done let's go look inside gotta be honest we're not gonna save a lot for this place but i think we might save this door i think we actually might save this door it, it's in pretty good shape it's not bad looking it needs a paint job it needs to be cleaned up but here we go inside we go now that lighting is poured here right now and the echo because previous owners took everything out right behind the oh, entry door here got a little closet for your uh coats or whatever and i do like the window really do like that window it's huge facing the highway um it's, i say highway it's not a well-traveled highway at all it's technically this highway but it's kind of I, we're going to keep some we're going to have a big window here and this is the living room so here let me show you we're going to come into here which is the kitchen okay so here's the kitchen and I definitely have seen much much worse kitchens so it's really not all that bad we're going to get rid of everything of course i say that it's still going to get rid of everything but here's what we're going to do we're going to tear down this wall right here so we're going to connect the living room with the kitchen and another thing we're debating i could use your opinions on on uh youtube here put comments down below what you think here we're thinking about we're going to have cabinets sink keep the sink here move the stove which was there to over here with the refrigerator dishwasher probably we might i don't i don't know what we'll squeeze that in yet and then turn this this area of the wall make it a countertop or basically make it into a bar slash island it won't be an island because it won't be it, it won't be open on all four ends it'll be open on three one two three and then the countertops keep going that direction or think about that because then you then you really give yourself some space you have a relatively you can you can still put a kitchen table in here but don't have to and you could eat meals right here come right in here to your living room have the tv set up couches and so forth anyhow let me just let me tell you we'll go down the hallway here here's where uh we got a lot of concerns furnace I tell you, looking at it, it doesn't look all that bad, to tell you the truth. I do see date of your last air duct cleaning was of 2004. We gotta get the air ducts cleaned. And the furnace itself, uh, well, let's take a look at this. I wanna see a nice air filter. Whoa. Anyhow, we believe the furnace is gonna be in great shape, but we got a, a HVAC guy coming in in the next, uh, I think in 48 hours, check it out, let us know what kind of life it still has another linen closet which all oh, that would be gone the flooring is going to get entirely replaced some vinyl plank flooring uh what do you think this beautiful carpet right no don't think so either but we're going to uh think of this way there's not necessarily a lot of gut work we have to do we're not really going to pull down or tear down walls except for the one i already showed you but the walls themselves are going to get we're going to take away all of this wallpaper new floor new paint job we're going to clean it of course every bedroom like i said three bedroom got has a closet so it's going to have brand new look all of these windows every window you see in this house replaced and we are going to take care of the new owners same thing in here we're going to get rid of wallpaper we're going to get new paint job the bathroom the one and only bathroom not a bad size tub but <laughs> not keeping it and this bathroom is probably pretty much going to get a gut job uh i don't know if we'll be able to save any of the walls we start tearing down this wallpaper we'll get an idea and and the shower as well if we need to get some new drywall behind it but the size of it it's not all that bad not that bad at all we'll get a different vanity different everything here is going to be brand spanking new when we're done now how long is that going to take us we're predicting two months 
because we're workhorses. Next bath bedroom is this one right here. It's dark. I don't have any lights on right now. That's what I'm it's Light switch, light switch is to that outlet. What we're going to change, we have an electrician we're going to come in and we're going to put a dome light in every bedroom because every bedroom's got the same situation. It's got a light switch, but it goes to an outlet. We want that light switch to be here in the in the room. And this has got a, it's a pretty nice sized bedroom. I mean, it is. It's actually a very nice sized bedroom. The closet is big. It's a nice spacious closet. The blue, um, not gonna last. Sorry, not gonna keep this old blue. We're gonna go new colors. I say colors. I mean, pretty much one. It's gonna be some kind of white or off white throughout the house. Here's the master bedroom. Big as well. It's a little dirty, dirty, but that's okay. We can clean as good as anybody. Like do the same thing. We're gonna have a nice big window. It's gonna be brand new. Big closet. And this is going to be a great place for a master bedroom for husband and wife, whatever. You know, this is the bedroom. What happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. Connected to the kitchen. Garage. Now let's talk about it. This is what they did. They made it into a man cave. So they used this drywall and, and closed it in. So what they actually have here, they had, they had you can see, insulation. They put some board there, they put another panel. Behind that panel is a little more insulation and they kept the original garage door. That's gonna go bye bye We're gonna make this into a garage, but what will be nice is all drywall. This is going to be a finished garage, 100%, because we already have the drywall in place. The carpet will not remain. Carpet's gonna be gone. There's access to the attic. I was up in the attic yesterday. Good looking. Not bad attic at all. Needs new insulation. I'm sure in a later video I will get it. Get some video up there as well. New electric throughout. We're gonna put some uh, workbenches or shelving units here for whoever takes over this place. But anyhow, cute idea they had of making this into a man cave, but we're getting rid of it. We're gonna go with a bedroom. I say bedroom, how about a garage? You can park your vehicle in here. These walls, I don't know with certainty, but I believe they are insulated. Why would they not be if they insulated that? So whoever gets this place is gonna have one car garage that's also insulated, it's finished. You're gonna have shelves over here, workbench. I mean, maybe I'll live in it. Come back into the kitchen. Got some work to do here. Water heater, it's off balance, here's leaning. Take care of that. Washer and dryer is going to be here. There's our plumbing and everything for washer and dryer. It's going to be a gas dryer. And here, here's where our electrician really going to come in handy. That is an original 1979 box. Whole thing is going to go ba ba. Going to get updated. Electrical work is going to be 100% updated in this home. So whoever is the new owner is not going to have any problems. In fact, they'll have a ton of confidence. Everything's in great shape. It's a lot of sweat equity here. And I'm pretty excited to do this. And Damon, like I said, dude is a genius. Gotta, I'll show you some of the stuff we've made as well. We, we, that's right. I said we, mostly his brains, my muscles. And a little bit of an, uh, input, like where do you want this pile of dirt, Damon? I, I, I held out in those ways, in ways like that. So, well, pretty excited to get back to work. Oh, I might as well just show you. I'm gonna come out the back door into the backyard and then, hey, I'm gonna get to work and we will be, I'll be updating new videos soon. Oh, how about I unlock it? Yeah, yeah. This door will get replaced. Voila.